Oh hey everybody, it's me, Funny Fortnite Clips Productions here, and guess what? Today we're back playing some Hearts of Iron 4, not that surprisingly. And remember guys, for 200,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a face reveal, so make sure you hit that- Wait a second, what year is it? For 300,000 subscribers, I'll be personally trucking to Moscow. For 400 subscribers, I'll be doing your taxes. For just a couple of subscribers, I'll personally reincarnate Mr. Hitler and tickle his little mustache and milk it for every little subscriber I can get. No, but seriously guys, at 10,000 likes, I'll tickle a must- I'll tickle my own mustache. Hit the like button to see a mustache tickle. Okay, just remind me to edit that out. That was- I think I just had a stroke. Hey guys, Stroke One Out Productions here, and today we're going to be forming one of the more interesting nations in Waking the Tiger. One that I was gonna do immediately, but completely forgot about. But we got it this time, guys. So unsurprisingly, this DLC feature is all about Germany, because in the game basically revolving around Germany, we needed more fucking Germany. And like every other time we played the DLC, we need to go down the Civil War option, because once again, bye bye Mr. Hitler, you're honestly a bit shitler. Civil war done and dusted with and now we can get back to the real German traditions of starting more wars. This time on the German focus tree we'll be doing securing the state! Which we've already done five million times now. And then we're gonna move to re-establish free elections because you know what they say, the freer the elections, the freer we're able to convince people that our union is going to be worth it for them. We've got ourselves the free elections, but now we kinda need to limit the Kaiser's power. I mean, he's cool and all with that mustache, but he's only got one working arm and I don't trust a man with only one working arm. Oh look everybody, boys and girls, gather around because we're a democracy now and you know what they say in the worlds of Hearts of Iron 4, democracy means fun. And also we've got Wilhelm III, not the second, and we're doing reverse the brain drain, and when we've got five research slots, an extra one means we're going to have an extra thick brain. Oh, the French have realized they don't need to surrender to me this game, so they've decided to surrender to themselves instead. And fair enough, France, you do you, because I'm sure I'll be over there at some point either way. Oh, hello, free peoples of Europe. Would you like to join my... Central European Alliance? It's kind of like, how would you say it? A union of Europeans? A European Alliance? Oh, everybody's joining my European Alliance. It's so great, guys. I, I, I welcome you all. I, I'll give you all a big hug and then you can give me all of your money. Yeah. Give me your money. You know, I'm actually really surprised how many people you can get an alliance through this focus tree. It's actually pretty damn powerful. I, I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, oh. Why, yes, Austria, the lesser German solution was a mistake. Oh, even as a democracy, Austria still gets absolutely fucking cooked. I, I like how you get this option in dem democratic, but you don't get it and you're fucking non allied. Also, Hungary's justifying. <laughs> fucking bring it! Yeah, I got so many people in my European alliance already that I've almost actually got quite a good union going on, except Norway. Fuck Norway! You know, I like this bizarro world where Germany somehow managed to convince everybody that they're not going to get fucked if they join my alliance, when in reality they're going to get just as fucked by joining my alliance than if they were to get invaded by me in the alternative alliance, and ah look! Lithuania's getting absolutely fucked. Oh, Soviets, it would be a shame if somebody was to meddle in your foreign affairs, wouldn't it, Putin? Sorry, sorry, I'm projecting a little there, you know. It's just how it is when the Russians hack my Facebook and make me vote for Hillary Clinton. But, uh, oh, look, we're at war with basically everyone, but that doesn't fucking matter because we've got a big, thick old faction to protect us and, you know, manipulate. You guys do, do all the work, we'll, we'll just claim all the glory. You know, sometimes I just don't want to wake up because of just some horrible fever dreams that I have and I'm pretty sure one of the fever dreams I have had is Belgium performing a blitzkrieg on France. Um, it just makes me feel a, a little uncomfortable. 
Okay, this fever dream just went up 10 fucking degrees because the Netherlands are navally invading France. What have I fucking created? Jesus Christ, end me! Good news is so we're on our quiet time now because more people just keep joining my faction. It, it, it's really quite, quite overpowered and Italy. Oh, I forgot Italy exists. I should probably kill them at some point because I doubt they're going to want to join my cool European alliance because they've got fascism. So I was wondering why I was making such a good push into the Soviet Union with little resistance, but then I realised, oh yeah, I'm allied with Scandinavia and the Soviets are going through there instead of through fucking Poland. Ah! Oh, the European dream has been realised and we've collectively come together and told Russia to just fuck off. Oh, and I don't want to be the one to put it down there, but Jody's looking pretty damn thick, albeit it, it, it is a bit of a hassle considering my country is now in two halves because I didn't take Poland. So Mussolini's struggling with the idea of a united Europe under a German flag, and I, I don't really understand why it's such a great idea to be united under a German flag. Oh yeah, no, this is an old history scenario when you've got Britain cooperating with the European agenda. Jesus Christ, Mr. Lord Halifax. So the Italian military strategy of being incompetent has stricken once again as they have arrived in Spain not knowing that we were planning to have the battle over here in Italy, but at least they turned up to the battle this time. Fair enough. Oh, Lebensraum, oh, Lebensraum, give me superiority. Glass conflicts in Germany? No, my friend, oh, shit. Well, I had to change to someone who could just defy a war goal anyway, which is a bit sad, but it kind of needs to happen for us to forward the dream of European unity, because, um... Just some things are gonna happen, you see? Just a couple things. I mean, come on. I, I can't play Germany in Hearts of Iron 4 and not have a small military incursion into the Benelux. Come on, <laughs> guys. I, I'm not an animal. I, I'm completely sane, and this is just what normal people fucking do. Jesus Christ, Mr. Bahui, what the fuck have you been taking? I just sunk 56 destroyers! By George, that might be the most efficient pirate I've ever seen! Only a German could pull off this amount of efficiency production and absolute catastrophe all at once! This is one for the history books! This will be written about for years and years to come! There will be statues of Boim, the mighty pirate lord, everywhere across the globe! Say it with me and say it loud and clearly! Boim is the lord of the sea! Too bad he's a German though. I mean, Boim just keeps knocking them out the park, but they just keep on coming and I'm just sinking. Literally hundreds of destroyers! Jesus Christ, Boim! Oh look, I can blow up the sewers. Sure. Why the fuck not? Yeah, go ahead. Just blow it the fuck up. Well, while well, Boim's clearing the sea so we can do another naval invasion, we've got to go ahead and take out Belgium too. That's right, you almost got away with it, Belgium, but not today. Breaking news, everybody in the world. WTT underscore news dot 40 dot D-E-S-C. Uh, yeah, that's all they said. That's, that's all they wanted me to report. Ah. Oh. So this is the Dunkirk of this universe. Portsmouth. Yeah. And we also need to get a bit of that Luxembourgian pie for the cheap tax benefits. Oh, how miserable it is for your last stand to be in Cardiff. Yeah. Ah, well the people want elections, do they? Well, I, I think we're done with this communism thing as well now. Oh, look, the Mexicans want to join my alliance too. The European Alliance. Well, not exactly sticking to the law of European history. I I'll take it. But more importantly, guys. Oh, it's time. Well. That, that, there we go. That, that was the big finale. It, it's the European Union. And, uh. It looks a bit bigger than the European Union ever technically was, but yeah, we did it, guys! Woohoo! I'm pretty sure most of that was on the back of that Admiral Bahim, though. He, he definitely had 
had the majority of the fucking work done there, didn't he? But there we go. Another playthrough done and dusted with. Another game completed. And I, I, I just realised I've death stacked my entire army in Luxembourg from when I evaded them. But hey, you guys just hang out there. I can't believe you're taking no fucking attrition. What the hell? Oh, so if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the lovely, lovely colour that is the European Union, I, I know I do. That's actually quite a nice blue, isn't it? Hmm, I like that. Um, uh, ma make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, because uh, 400,000 subscribers, I'll be blowing my own brains out. Wait, what? <laughs>